good morning my dear students welcome to the discussion on the topic isometric view of simple solids under isometric view of simple solids we are discussing now how to construct isometric view of a hexagonal prism this is the third solved problem we are discussing under isometric view of a simple solids now we'll enter into the problem the given problem is draw the isometric view of a hexagonal prism of base side 35 mm and axis height 70 mm the prism is resting on its base on hp with one of its base side is parallel to the vp now we will extract the data from the problem the name of the object to be drawn is isometric view of a hexagonal prism the base side length of the hexagonal prism is 35 mm and axis height is 70 mm the hexagonal prism is resting on its base on hp and one of its base side is parallel to vp the top view of the hexagonal prism is regular hexagon with one of its side is parallel to the vertical plane our objective is to draw isometric view of a hexagonal prism the procedural steps involved in construction of isometric view of a hexagonal prism is divided into two steps now we will see what are those two steps involved in the construction of isometric view of a hexagonal prism the first step is drawing top view and front view of the hexagonal prism with two dimensions because here we are going to draw isometric view of the hexagonal prism that's why we are considering the two dimensions of the object the hexagonal prism is resting on its base on hp so that its axis is perpendicular to hp and parallel to vp and one of its base side is parallel to vp so that's why the top view of the hexagonal prism is a regular hexagon with one of its side is parallel to the xy line so draw xy line then top view of the hexagonal prism that is regular hexagon with one of its side is parallel to the xy line then draw its related front view after that we need to draw isometric view of the hexagonal prism then we'll discuss how to draw top view as well as front view of the hexagonal prism followed by drawing the isometric view of the hexagonal prism now we are drawing the isometric view of a hexagonal prism for drawing the isometric view of a hexagonal prism first we need to draw the orthographic projections of a hexagonal prism here the hexagonal prism is resting on its base on hp with the edge of the base parallel to the vp here the base side length of the hexagonal prism is 35 mm and axis height is 70 mm so first we'll draw top view as well as front view of the hexagonal prism when it is resting on its base on hp with edge of the base parallel to vp as a first step under drawing the orthographic projections of a hexagonal prism draw xy line after drawing the xy line then we'll draw top view of the hexagonal prism that is regular hexagon with one of its side parallel to the xy line here the base side length of the hexagonal prism is given as 35 mm with 35 mm as a base side length draw regular hexagon this is the top view of the hexagonal prism when it is resting on its base on hp and one of its base side is parallel to the vp next step is drawing front view of the hexagonal prism for that 
draw projectors through top few points namely 1 2 3 4 5 6 and go towards the vertical plane first we will draw projector through point o that is center of the hexagonal prisms base this o is the image of the axis in top u here the height of the axis is 70 mm then draw projectors through 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 towards the vertical plane then name the bottom base as well as top base points of a prism in front view Drawing top view as well as front view of the hexagonal prism is completed with the given condition. The given condition is the hexagonal prism is resting on its base on HP with one of its base side is parallel to the VP. Then we will move towards drawing the isometric view of the hexagonal prism. For that, first we will enclose the top view of the hexagonal prism that is regular hexagon in a rectangle. First we will draw isometric view of the rectangle PQRS then with reference to the isometric view of the rectangle PQRS we will draw the isometric view of the hexagon. Here the rectangle PQRS is on the horizontal plane that means the four sides of the rectangle are parallel to the horizontal plane that means we need to draw the four sides of the rectangle making an angle 30 degrees to the reference line in isometric view. In the case of isometric views, the horizontal lines are drawn with an angle of 30 degrees to the reference line and vertical lines are drawn with an angle of 90 degrees to the reference line. Here QR and PS are length lines, QP and RS are breadth lines. So both length as well as breadth lines are drawn with an angle of 30 degrees to the reference line. As a first step in isometric view, draw reference line. After that, locate a point Q At Q on the reference line, draw 30 degrees left side and draw 30 degrees right side. QR is the length line, QP is the breadth line of the rectangle. QR is taken along the X axis and QP is taken along the Z axis. So QR as a radius, Q as a center, draw an arc, name this point as R. In the case of isometric views, we will use capital letters. Then QP as radius, Q as center, draw an arc. Then Parallel to QR, passing through P, draw a line, say PS line, that is parallel to QR, passing through P, draw a line. Then QP and RS are parallel. Then parallel to QP, passing through R, draw a line. 
Drawing isometric view of the rectangle PQRS is completed. It is a two dimensional plane. For this we will add third dimension. The third dimension is the axis height of the prism. The axis height of the prism is 70 mm. So draw verticals to the point P, point Q and points R and S with a axis height of 70 mm. The name of the method which we are using is box method. Here axis height is 70 mm. We are drawing the box. With length QR, breadth QP, height PP, we constructed the isometric view of the rectangular prism. Within the isometric view of the rectangular prism, we will draw the isometric view of the hexagonal prism. For that, first we will transfer the top view of the bottom base points of the hexagonal prism into the bottom base of a rectangular prism. Say, QC as radius, Q as center, draw an arc, name this point as C, then RB also with the same radius. So, R as a center, draw an arc on QR line, name this point as B. Here, QC as well as PA also with the same radius. SF also with the same radius. Make a note. In the case of isometric views, we use capital letters. Then QA as radius. A is a point in between QP. RD also with the same radius. Similarly, locate the top base points of the hexagonal prism on the top base of a isometric view of the rectangular prism. For that, take Q1 as a radius, Q as a center, draw an arc, name this point as 1, as 1 is a point in between Q and P, then R4 also with the same radius, R as a center. Draw an arc. Name this point as 4. This is 1. Then Q3 as radius. Q as center. 3 is a point in between Q and R. Name this point as 3. With R as a center, with the same radius, draw an arc so that you will get point 2. Similarly, locate 5 and 6. This is the direction of front view. For the observer, the top base of the prism is visible. Then join points 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, 5, 5, 6, 6, 1 with continuous dark lines. The observer is looking in this direction. So, for the observer, the base sides say 
BC and AB are visible. So draw AB as well as BC sides with dark lines. Then the face edge say C3 is visible and another face edge B2 is visible, another face edge A1 also visible. Then the base edge AF is visible. So draw AF base edge as continuous dark lines. Then join 6 to F face edge with continuous dark line. Then the base sides which are inside and face sides which are inside are drawn as dotted lines. Here EF base side, ED base side, DC base side are hidden. So draw those lines as dotted lines. Then the face edge 4D is hidden. So draw line joining the points 4 and D as a hidden line that is dash line. Similarly the face edge 5E is hidden. So join 5 and E points with dash line. This is the isometric view of the hexagonal prism when it is resting on its base on HP and axis parallel to VP. Now we will see the pencil view says. The top view, front view and isometric view of the hexagonal prism is with H pencil. Dimensioning is with 2H pencil. Construction lines are with 3H pencil. Now we will see the dimensioning details. Here the base side length of the hexagonal prism is 35 mm and prism's axis height is 70 mm that is all dimensions are in millimeters. Make a note. In the case of isometric views, the lines which are parallel to the horizontal plane say length and breadth lines are drawn with an angle of 30 degrees to the reference line and the lines which are parallel to the vertical plane say height lines are drawn with an angle of 90 degrees to the reference line. That's about the drawing isometric view of a hexagonal prism when it is resting on its base on HP. If you have any queries or doubts, you can write under comment section below this video. I'll clarify them. Visit again for more videos on engineering graphics using the links provided under description of this video. Keep learning and knowledge sharing. Thank you for watching.